The weekend began with high expectations China could soon move on the yuan. Former U.S. Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson arrived at Boao the same day his successor Tim Geithner flew into Beijing for an unscheduled closed-door chat with his Chinese counterpart. This is something that needs to be taken seriously because the U.S. concerns are significant. But Paulson wouldn't speculate on timing or much of anything else. In your discussions here, are you getting any indication that an imminent move is underway? Excuse, the excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. China's central bank governor, Zhou Xiaochuan, was here, and he too, along with U.S. Undersecretary of State Robert Hormatz, wouldn't bite when asked directly if the yuan was going to be revalued anytime soon. I'm sorry to say that. I think this is not a, a, a right. Uh, occasions to discuss the exchange rate policy. I find myself very much in agreement with Governor Joe. This is probably not, <laughs> <laughs> this is probably not the right forum for doing it. Later to Bloomberg News, Hormats offered only a little more insight. There's a spirit of, 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 uh, of positive cooperation on this issue. I think it would be wrong to try to anticipate any specific action being taken on any specific date. I, I I don't think I like to to, 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 to to make any kind of any kind of prediction on this kind of, it's a very sensitive thing. Yeah. It's a very, very sensitive issue. Many in the Chinese corporate community here at Boao also refused to comment on the value of the renminbi. Those who did though say it's out of our hands. It's now a decision that's up to politicians and policymakers. Companies should adapt. We don't have a say on the appreciation. You should make full use of the positive impact. For the negative impact, try to minimize it with technological innovation and increased efficiency. It'll be gradualist. I mean, you're not going to see, a, I mean, it's not in the nature to have a big bang approach to anything here. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if something is done, but I'm a, uh, it's, 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 it's not going to be something to, to wake up in the morning for. State media says Chinese Vice President Xi Jinping told Paulson here at Boao that there will be no imminent change in currency policy. The fact so many others, though, are remaining tight-lipped may tell a different story.